Can't keep using your father's disappearance as an excuse to act out. What's it about? Their dad, he wanted to touch the stars. Where are we? We heard a cry out in the universe. My father's alive. We believe he is, and we're here to help you find him. We are in search of warriors. Warriors who serve the good and the light in the universe. You're kidding. Do I look like I'm kidding? I'm not. Your father's trapped by an evil energy. It's too strong for our light. And the only one who can stop it is you. Be a warrior. Well, the stars were Wrinkle in Time, Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon and Mindy Kaling join me now. It's great to see you. Really good to see you. What a sumptuous film. Sumptuous is a good word to describe I like it. Sumptuous. Isn't it like rich? It's just luscious. Gorgeous. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you for saying so. What do you want people to take away from the film? Uh, it's sumptuousness. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> just what you took away, Lorraine. You did yeah. exactly what we wanted you to do. And also that there is uh, power in, in uh, the light, you know, that if you discover the best of yourself, the best shows up for you. And that love, everyone deserves to be loved. What she says in the movie, mm. I deserve to be loved. Which is very true. Now, we, well, I went to see the film and I took along some girls as well with me from the Central Foundation School in East London. Mm. Um, they're all about sort of 13, 14, around about that age. age yeah. And mm -hmm. this is what they thought. Be who you are and not be what other people want you to be. The main message of the film is to believe in yourself. Why Oprah was saying, you have to be a warrior. Be a warrior. I'll try. And it's very inspiring. They can be warriors as well as boys. I love the term warrior woman because it kind of empowers women. Which is a wonderful message to put across. Again, it was really inspiring. You should never, like, downgrade yourself because you could do so much things in life. One of my favourite lines that Oprah said was, is there really such a thing as the wrong size? And I think that's a really important thing to share with young people. Be a warrior! <laughs> Oh, were they great? Really? It was a nice surprise. I know they were. They were so good, and they loved it. They were enthralled. You could see that. And afterwards, you know, they were all talking about. They were having a discussion about what it meant and what was a warrior and just how they could be better mm. as well. Because that's the message of the film too, isn't it? Be better. Mm -hmm. Let's try and be better, mm -hmm. <laughs> all of us. Which is great. Which is what we want. Well, she grew up reading the book. Neither of us had read it, but Reese grew up reading I the book and loving this book. Yeah. I thought, you know, it was such a great story that had this little girl at the center of it. And I remember being little and loving sci-fi and loving, um, you know, fantasy fiction and not really ever finding female heroes at the center sure. of those stories. So this book was really important for me growing up. And my kids have read it and... They, they saw the movie, they loved it. My five-year-old well, loved it. Well, we've got the three of you. We've obviously got three very powerful women, a female director, and in Little Storm, who plays oh, Meg, yeah, a star amazing. in the making. Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. Really, yeah. really good. We're all so proud of her. I'll bet. Yes. I'll bet. Did, you, did she find, though, I mean, it must have been difficult for her, you know, with, with, with the three of you. Did you sort of break down those barriers quite quickly that she wasn't intimidated or anything, or was she not? She's incredibly well-raised and so respectful. She calls us Miss Oprah, Miss Reese, Miss Mindy yeah. T today. I mean, yes, yes she, you know, she'll call us that today. So she was incredibly well-raised and with her head on her shoulders, yeah. her family. I, I, I think, you know, the thing about becoming famous or being well-known is that you become the same person. It just is a magnifying glass on who you are. So whoever you are, if you're a nice kid, you just become a nicer kid, and people get to, get to see that. And I think her mother did such a great job that w w none of us have any worries about her. And we're all so proud of the film, and thank you for taking young girls. Yes, oh. but so they, they absolutely loved it. And it kind of changed the atmosphere in the, the, the viewing theatre yes. as well for us, you know? Because we were sensing how much they were getting out of it. Yes, when we saw it with kids in the theatre, kids end up laughing in places where I didn't know we're funny. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, kids get a different, it, it's a different yeah. experience for children because they don't, they don't think as, as, lin as, as linear as we do. You no, know? very much so. And yeah. although, although it is for 
you know, it's a message for young girls, but mm. also it's boys as well. You know, of we, we have to change boys' attitude too. And things are changing. Things are getting better, aren't they? Mm. Oh, for I'm sure. I'm optimistic. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think so. And particularly when you see like a big company like Disney making a film like this and making such a, a positive statement for young women and putting a young girl's story up in, on the big screens across the world, that can really change consciousness. And I think it's, it's great to see. And it's a message that's global as well, isn't it? I mean, it's not just for... Oh, it's a universal story. Yeah, it's not just you America, know. the UK or Europe. It's absolutely yeah. all over the world. And, you know, and oh, young girls, 13, 14 years old, you're, you're, you're trying to figure it out. Yeah. You're trying to figure out... You're trying to learn how to listen to your own voice, how to trust that instead of everybody around you, all the people who are bullying in one form or another or trying to influence you in one form or another. So the message that the Mrs. give to Meg of that you are okay just as you are, yeah. I think the message that you give... Yeah, I say to her, I give you the gift of your faults. And she thinks that's a negative thing, but it's actually... it's it's understanding yourself and it's those things that make you different that um, can provide your unique journey through the world. And the most important thing is what, it's what, uh, what Mrs. Who says to her in the beginning, that Rumi quote. Mm -hmm. The wound is where the light enters you. Yeah. That's uh -huh. just so profound. That. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I love the way your character just speaks in quotes. <laughs> from all kinds of cultures, and was, all, you know, from Winston Churchill, Shakespeare. You know, Palace. it was cool that they updated the quotations from the from the original book, which yeah. was more sort of classical, of the, like from the Judeo Christian mm -hmm. um, history. This was they updated it with Lynn Manuel Miranda and um, Outcast. She won't tell you how hard that is. I mean, cool. we actually think that. Mindy had the hardest role as Mrs. Who because, you know, as our characters, you get to ad lib or give a sigh or mm, or an and or a but or a, you know, you get a little leeway in languaging. Yeah. But when you're quoting Shakespeare, <laughs> you, can't really, you can't. No, you can't mess about with it. There'll be no messing about with that. No, <laughs> no. you'll get some letters. Really not whatsoever. No. Listen, stay with us. We've got loads more to talk to you about. We'll be right back after the break and I'll be talking lots more to Oprah and Mindy, so don't go anywhere.